Investigators. Today we're going to be looking at an up-and-coming node project called Magus Nodes. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's dig in to see what Magus Nodes is all about. So let's take a look. So Magus Nodes, they claim to be the next big nodes as a service protocol on the Kronos chain where you will have the opportunity to make passive income for life. So the team consists of veterans in the crypto space who have come together to bring the node community one of the biggest and most sustainable projects of the year. So Magus nodes, again, here is their symbol. You can see the M built into that, which is pretty cool. And let's just do a quick overview right here about earning passive income. So it says Magus nodes offers a sustainable APR with a protocol that truly works. It will be introducing a state-of-the-art runway to help keep track of the sustainability of the APR that they offer, making sure that Magus Nodes is here for a very long time. By being a part of Magus Nodes, you're joining a community of proud node holders, collectively working together to generate that passive, sustainable rewards forever. So what makes Magus Nodes special? Well, there is no bothersome, hard-to-learn software that you need to learn how to use. Magus Nodes works with virtual nodes that take little experience to successfully set up. Their DAP will be clean and easy to understand for any traditional investor. And in short, Magus Nodes works for everyone, making global adoption a realistic goal. So a couple things that we're going to be looking at today are some FAQs, some frequently asked questions. We're going to dig into the white paper if you're interested in buying my, my, the Magus token and making a node as well. And then we're also going to be looking at their upcoming roadmap. So let's dig in first and check out some facts, some frequently asked questions. So is the team planning to KYC docs and do a security audit? The team is planning to do a private KYC and a security audit. Some of the core team members are already publicly doxed. If you do join the Discord, you'll see some of them are uh, themselves publicly doxxed in there as well. How did the team meet and what's your experiences within the crypto space? Well, the team has been collaborating with each other over the past few years, helping projects reach the masses. They have grouped together to make one of the biggest node projects on CRO, Kronos chain, called Magus. So here it says, when are we launching? Now they just announced, I believe it was today at the time of recording this video, it's April 21st, um, May 4th. So they're gonna do their public launch on May 4th. Any particular reason why they chose the Kronos chain? Well, they say that Kronos is a well-known token with an ecosystem that has not yet hit the masses. Being scalable and backed by a huge company means it'll grow to huge numbers. And they fully expect this as people migrate to Crow. One of the biggest existing projects on there will be them. Are they planning to lock the liquidity? Liquidity is planned on being locked for one year upon launch. What treasury investment types are you planning? So of course, with these node projects, that's the key question is what are they going to be investing the liquidity into all of those treasury investment funds? Well, they say their main goal is to be investing in Crow and projects built on the Crow network to support the ecosystem that they have chosen to be their home for their Magus token. They will also be able to st uh, stake stable coins to have a free, risk-free investment into their treasury. So it seems like a lot of their investments are going to be within that Kronos chain to help it grow. Will the treasury wallet be multi-sig with community members as an authority? And it says, we will be getting a multi-sig for the treasury with members of our team and community members holding authority. So yes, it will be including community members in that. Where are tokens distributed during node creation? So tokens will be distributed to the rewards pool, treasury and development wallet. Later on in this video, we're gonna actually take a look at how that is divided specifically. 
with majority of it going towards the rewards pool. And again, we'll see that soon. All right, so some important things to know were, will there be a claim tax? They're looking at a 10% claim tax. Again, we're gonna talk a little bit about that in the white paper. What makes this node project sustainable over time? So by recycling tokens via people purchasing nodes slash the claim fees, as well as clever investments with their treasury, they aim to keep Megas nodes running for a very long time. All right, will there be a pre-sale event and will funds be used for initial liquidity? They're gonna be running three rounds of whitelists and competitions to get into those. At the time of recording this video, again, is April 21st for me. Um, they have done two rounds of whitelists complete and they have their third round going right now. I believe there's around 100 spots left. So each round will have the same benefit and have the same max contribution. And they will also be giving out a free node to whitelisters who contribute a certain amount. And that amount is to be determined. Funds raised will be used for initial liquidity, expanding the team and the initial treasury funds for the community. What are the benefits of joining that whitelist? Well, whitelisters will be able to buy into Megas tokens before launch. So that means whitelisters have the opportunity to get Megas token at launch price. So essentially they're gonna launch the token price at $1. But those of us who have been in many node projects know that that doesn't last too long. Um, typically it runs up at launch. So the whitelisters get that $1 price prior to that. You don't have to worry about the competitions that happen during the launch first few seconds and first few minutes. So it says also the whitelisters will also have the ability to get a free node again if those certain requirements are met. A couple more questions to look at and then we'll get into the white paper. What is the maximum contribution for the whitelist? Well that is going to be $1,000 in USDC, DAI or BUSD and for those who contribute half or more will also receive a free node on launch. So essentially, if you do a minimum of 500 in those tokens of stablecoin value, then you get a free node during launch. What will be the launch price of the Megas token? Again, it's planned for a dollar per token, but we know how things go during launch days. So that was some frequently asked questions that are important for you guys to know about the Megas token. Now let's talk about a little bit of the info on the white paper here. So digging into the white paper, the first thing that we should know is how to buy the Megas token. So on the white paper, they'll give you the site to get to the Kronos chain and you can buy the Megas token by following these steps. Once you have your Megas token, you can make a node, all right? So you'll head over to their DAP on their website, you'll mint your node, and then you'll start earning rewards. So it doesn't say it in the white paper, but it's gonna be 100 tokens to make one node, and that pays out one Megas token per day. So that would come out to be a 100 day ROI, which for node projects seems to be incredibly sustainable reward rate. All right, so here we go. We started talking about this a little bit before, but here is the um, split of how the um, tokens are distributed once you do make that node. So again, it's gonna be 100 tokens to make a node. So that means 80 tokens go into the rewards pool, 10% goes to the devs, and 10% goes to treasury. So 10 tokens, 10 tokens, and a majority goes back to the rewards pool. So let's look at some of the things about how they plan on being sustainable. So a common issue with these DAS projects is a lack of sustainability. And the team at Magus, after doing extensive research, will be implementing the following to promote stability and sustainability for the long term. So they have their token tax. So let's talk about that. When they first launch, the Magus token will have a 20% sell tax. That will be split between the treasury and development wallets. Every day that tax drops by 2% until they reach their plan tax of 1%. So about nine and a half or 10 days to get down from 20% to 1%. 
Presale is going to be a 50-50 split, so presalers will be receiving their allocation in both tokens and nodes at a 50-50 split. This will reduce any potential sell pressure by 50%. So this was actually voted on by the community I saw in their Discord. Um, the options were either you can get 100% nodes, 100% tokens, or a 50-50 split where you get 50% in the form of nodes and 50% in the form of tokens. So the community chose to go with the 50-50 split there. Node claim tax. So let's talk about that. When claiming your Magus token rewards from your nodes, you will be subject to a 10% claim fee. This fee split between the rewards pool where 8% goes into the rewards pool, 1% in the treasury, and 1% to the developers. So it's that same proportion as we talked about earlier with what happens when you make a node. Where do those 100 tokens go? So it's the same thing for your 10% claim fee. All right, a couple more things that we need to talk about is the P2P node trading platform. So one of the things that makes Magus nodes stand out is going to be their revolutionary P2P trading platform. This will allow their nodes to be tradable. You can buy, sell, and trade these Magus nodes for USDC. How does that add to their sustainability? Well, they will have a small platform fee that will go to the community's treasury and in future look to assist other projects to access their platform resulting in their ecosystem growing and Magus generating more funding. So that's always a good way to have some sort of money coming back into the project. They also have the NFT boosting. So down the road, they will be introducing this, so it's not going to be available right away, um, but they'll introduce their NFTs with a fantastic use case. Users will be able to stake their NFTs to boost their node rewards. The exact percent will be announced closer to the NFT launch, and this will benefit the sustainability of Magus nodes by raising capital to fuel development and the treasury, rewarding early adopters and the loyal members of the community in offering product to their ecosystem. Now let's talk again about that most important factor with these node projects, which is the treasury. So their treasury will be the most valuable asset of their ecosystem. So they say by growing our treasury, and enables Magus nodes to invest in other projects in the Crow ecosystem, as well as stablecoin LP farms for low risk, high rewards yield. From these profits, we can then perform buybacks of Magus token, purchase nodes off the P2P market to resell. Now the profits, when they do that, will go straight back to the treasury, and then they're gonna create partnerships with other projects. The treasury will not just be limited to tokens though, a strategy team will be put in place to look at everything from NFTs to DeFi. So that is what you need to know if you are going to buy the Vegas token and if you are going to note up. So let's say you join this project, you're a part of their ecosystem, or what do they have planned ahead? So again, guys, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like and subscribe as the crypto investigators explore a lot of different projects that are out there in the crypto space. All right, so let's check out their roadmap. So we are in Q2 2022, we're almost one month in already. So they are launching their website and docs, which are all available. Uh, you can get all of that through either the Twitter or the Discord. So their whitelist rounds one, two, and three. As I said earlier in the video, one and two are closed, and I believe there's around 100 spots left for three at the time I'm recording this video. They're gonna secure some partnerships with some KOLs and a DEX. They're gonna deploy the Megas Nodes contract and the DAP. They're gonna work on growing the social media to build up the community. They'll get those CMC and CoinGecko listings. They're gonna get that multi-sig, which again, we said before, we'll have community members in on it, and they're gonna do a private KYC. Next quarter, Q3 2022, that is going to be their expansion of their development and marketing team. They will be introducing those NFTs as we spoke about earlier in Q3. So they say they have a very interesting use case for those. So the ability to trade your nodes back to the treasury is a pretty cool feature that not all node projects have. So once you buy a node, 
Sometimes you're locked into that note forever, but this one you can trade your notes back into the treasury, which is pretty cool. They're going to continue growing that social presence, and they're going to work on that P2P node trading marketplace. In Q4 of 2022, they're going to build up a merchandise store. They're going to do a second version of their NFTs, potential introduction of snapshot.org for community vote. They're going to do a user interface redesign update if and when necessary. They're going to continue marketing and doing those collaborations. And they go as far as Q1 2023, where they're going to upgrade the reward system. They're going to look into becoming a VC to continue growing the Megas Nodes treasury. And they have an exciting surprise for the community who have been there since the beginning. Which again, can be you because it's about two weeks left until launch. May 4th is the official public launch. So that wraps up our video on Megas Nodes. Again, if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. If you're going to buy Megas, if you're going to note up, type in Megas into the comments below. And we'll catch you in the next one.